Hey guys, it's Lunar. Welcome back to another daily console mods video for Skyrim Special Edition on PS4 and Xbox One. If you watched the previous video, you will know we are changing things up a little bit to get out more mods for a while. Can't happen for long though, as we will very quickly catch up on mods, and unfortunately, there are less than 10 mods out each day right now. But there are still quite a few, especially on Xbox One, that we can cover. Anyway, let's jump straight into our first mod. Our first mod is called Essential House Carls, Spouses, Debella Priests, and the title I think is pretty self-explanatory. If you don't want to watch your followers perish during a bandit raid or a dragon attack, then this mod is the perfect fix for that. All House Carls, Ill the Huntress, and Temple of Debella Priests are now essential so cannot die, no matter how much you shoot them with arrows. Next up we have a very small one and it's called Daedric is Magic. The mod is a simple mod and all it does is add in the red glowing effect to the Daedric armor, bow and arrows. Of course it doesn't affect any of the stats for any of the stuff, it simply is an aesthetic change to the texture. Our next mod is called Veloth's Judgment, an Oblivion artifact. This mod's Veloth Judgment is a Daedric Warhammer originally found in Morrowind during the Tribunal Temple questline. The Warhammer can be found on a table in the abandoned lodge in Solstheim. The Warhammer in terms of damage does the same as a Daedric Warhammer and it has an enchantment on it though that is very strong. It does 25 points of burn damage per hit, also it sets targets on fire so they do additional damage for fire, absorbs 25 points of stamina and at the same time it does 25 points of stamina damage to the opponent. So I'm pretty sure that means you will take 50 points of stamina off your full were hit. Either way, it's a very cool weapon, and I do like all these nostalgic Oblivion and Model Wind kind of artifacts that have been added back into the game, so I'm looking forward to some of the other ones. There are quite a few other ones we will be adding into future videos as well. Maven Blackbriar is the matriarch of the Blackbriar family, and unofficially controls most of Riften. She has strong ties with both the Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood, as well as being a friend of Jarl Leila Lawgiver, despite their political differences. She has her hands in every shady business in Riften, is involved in multiple quests, and is so influential that she will take over as the Jarl if the Imperial Legion conquers the Rift. Well, now with this mod, you can kill her. Simple as that. Before she was essential, as she is involved in loads of stuff with the game. She she has 12 different quests that she's involved in and of course if you kill her early on all 12 of the quests will break so you might want to finish those first and then kill her for all her misdeeds but if you don't want to do that then you can just kill her straight off from the start of the game if you want to so she's no longer essential. Our final mod is a small change, but a very nice and immersive one. Feels like we don't get very many immersion mods these days. This mod changes the appearance of road signs to a more weathered and more immersive look instead of a sterile, well-maintained road sign post that were created yesterday and seem to be immune to weather effects or the environment. At the same time, it still provides readable road signs. Beside overhauling all existing posts, it adds new ones at logical places throughout Skyrim, not including DLCs yet though. Many of the posts differ in design, have additional vegetation or small clutter added to them, or around them to enrich the experience of playing the game. In snowy environments, the road signs are subject to snow shader effects and so on. So if you're looking for more realistic weather road signs in game, then you could check out this mod. Well that's it for this mod video, if you haven't done so yet make sure you check out the other video released at the same time as this one for 5 more mods. Like I said guys, some of these videos will be slightly shorter than the others, but we did cover 10 mods today rather than 6 so I guess that's a good thing. If you found today's video useful, a like and comment is very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe to see a lot more Skyrim content, I have hundreds of similar videos to check out on my channel. If you haven't done so yet, turn on notifications as well to see the videos as soon as they come out each day. But for now guys, you take care and have an awesome day.